Public printer Bill Borman and Congressman John Sarbanes cut the ribbon welcoming Towson University's Albert S. Cook Library into the U.S. Government Printing Office's Federal Depository Library Program, or the FDLP. As authorized by law, Congressman Sarbanes designated Towson's library as part of the FDLP. Towson's library joins more than 1,200 Federal Depository Libraries nationwide in providing the public with free access to authentic published government information. I am honored to be the head of the GPO at this particular time and honored to designate Towson today as a Federal Depository Library. Information is knowledge and uh, the information that the GPO puts up online and in, in our editions that we print are very important for uh, the American people and the public to understand what their government does. Former U.S. Senator Paul Sarbanes and former Maryland Superintendent of Schools Nancy Grasmick participate in this important event. Towson University is located in Congressman Sarbanes' district. And during his remarks, the congressman stressed the importance of the public having access to government information. What the, what the government printing office is all about, what the Federal Depository Library Program is all about, is providing good information to the public and in that sense is about transparency, it's about accountability, and it's about integrity. As a member of the FDLP, Towson University's library now has access to federal government information in both print and digital formats. The information is available on GPO's Federal Digital System, or FDSIS. GPO authenticates documents on FDSIS by digital signature, and this signature assures the public that the document has not been changed or altered. Through FDSIS, Towson's community, faculty, students, and staff now have access to thousands of government documents. And some of those documents include the U.S. Code, Code of Federal Regulations, and the daily compilation of presidential documents. The Federal Depository Library Program is going to help us give those students even more information, um, current information, and to be in touch with what's happening in our government. The Federal Depository Library Program started in 1813 to connect the American public with the federal government. Today, more than 1,200 libraries across the country are part of this program with a mission that has spanned three centuries. And the founders of our nation believed it so important that the public, no matter where they lived or what they did or what their income might be, that everybody would have the same right to access government information. The libraries really, I think, are the great manifestation of democracy. I mean, anyone can walk in the door and utilize the facilities of a, of a library and have access <clears throat> to all of this accumulated knowledge. GPO is currently celebrating its 150th anniversary, and for those 150 years, GPO has worked with federal depository libraries to make government information available to the public. Today, libraries can utilize GPO's federal digital system, thus giving their communities greater access to authentic, published information of our government.